This is the TrueNAS operating system. Before the corruption, you can see that the version is TrueNAS 13.0 U6.2. And if you come to accounts, you will see users. There's one user, test one, which is the custom user. If you come to the storage section, click on disk, you will see three disks, ADA0, ADA1, DA0. TrueNAS operating system is installed on DA0, which is a flash drive of about 64 GB. ADA0 is the SSD drive. ADA1 is the SATA drive. I have pools created out of them. SATA drive with the name SATA, SSD drive with the name SSD. The video was recorded before the corruption of the TrueNAS operating system on the flash drive. Let me show you the uh, drive information. So 192.168.0.6 is the IP address configured on the TrueNAS device. I have one SSD drive and one SATA drive mounted and I have the data store created. The critical data stored on SSD and SATA drives you can check out here on my screen so i have some critical data stored here in the video we will show you how you can recover the true nas operating system if it is corrupted or if the drive or the flash drive is faulty where you have installed the true nas this condition applies to the situation where you have the device configuration backed up to save the configuration click on system general Scroll down, save configuration, enter the password, and then you can save the configuration. The drives are not encrypted. The disk that you see here and the pools that we have created, there's no encryption going on on the file system. There are two possibilities here. Number one, the TrueNAS operating system is corrupted. Number two, the hard drive or the flash drive is in a failed state where the TrueNAS operating system is installed. So for both the scenarios, the next action plan would be to install the TrueNAS operating system on a new functional hard drive or the flash drive. Or if the hard drive or the flash drive is functional, you can install the TrueNAS operating system on them. In my case, the flash drive is functional, so I'm going to install the TrueNAS operating system on a flash drive. I have made the pen drive bootable with TrueNAS operating system, so we are ready to do the fresh installation. If you're interested in knowing how to make the pen drive or flash drive bootable with TrueNAS operating system, you can refer the video that I've pinned on screen. Boot priority is updated to boot from the TrueNAS bootable flash drive. IP address changed to 192.168.0.5. Let's try to access the TrueNAS using the updated IP address, which is 192.168.0.5. Okay, as you can see, the host name changed. And if you come to the accounts, check out the user, you will not see the custom test one user that we used to have in my previous TrueNAS installation. Again, coming down to the storage pool, you will not see the pools that we had earlier. In the sharing, you will not see the SMB configuration and in the services, you will not see SMB enabled. Let's try to recover the user configuration and let's try to recover the data store where we have the critical data stored. Click on system, go to general, scroll down. You will see the option to upload the config. Click on upload config, choose the file. 
backup. This is the TrueNAS backup database file. Click open, upload. Let the system upload the configuration file and post that. We'll check out the status. Okay, in the back end, I can see that the device is rebooting. So let's wait for the device to come up again and then we'll see if the configuration is recovered or not. And you can see that the IP address changed to 192.168.0.6 automatically. Now let's try to access the TrueNAS and check out the configuration if all the user specific configuration and the data drives are recovered or not. Configuration is backed up and the reboot is complete. Let's try to access the TrueNAS operating system using the old 192.168.0.6 IP address. And let's see, first of all, we'll check out the account, go to user. So you can see test one is in place as per the configuration. Coming down to our storage, disk. So you can see here three disks. DA0 is the flash drive where the TrueNAS operating system is installed. ADA0, ADA1, SSD and SATA respectively. Let's click on pool. As you can see on my screen, the configuration is back in place. Let's try to check out the permissions. So you can see this is the open permission to access the share. Let's try to check out the services. Sharing SMB, okay. Configuration is backed up here as well. Let's try to check out the service. SMB is enabled. Now we'll try to access the drives. Okay, so I can see the SATA data store and the SSD data store. Let's try to check out the content. As you can see, I have recovered the data on the SATA. Let's try to check out the SSD. So here also I can see the data. So that's how you can recover the user specific configuration, device specific configuration and the data store. If there is a corruption of TrueNAS operating system or if the flash drive or the hard drive where the TrueNAS operating system is installed is in failed state or non-functional. That's all in this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button.